Alright, time for a Lilia game. I am against Karthus, which matchup wise is pretty decent. He'll outpace me in the jungle clear speed wise, but in like 1v1s, it's next to impossible for Karthus to land an actual Q on Lilia because of the move speed boost. So, on that front, we should be okay. But yeah, I'll definitely struggle against him when it comes to like clear, like clear tempo mainly. So that could get interesting. Just gotta have to look for some ganks. He does have exhaust, no flesh, which is pretty good to know. It does make one v oneing him a little bit more difficult, but in general, like not have like having exhaust there does make it a little easier for him to potentially land some stuff on me. And makes it dif more difficult because I will get reduced damage, of course. Wait, hello? Can I... Okay. Uh, Lanes-wise... I'm not sure how top lane will go, to be honest. Talon, I have a Talon against a Rise mid, which should be okay, I think. I mean, it's still range against melee, but as soon as, like, Talon closes that distance, Rise just dies. I think my most, like, scenario is just gonna go bot lane ganks as much as possible. Yeah, we'll just have to take note of where the Karthus starts. Right, try to kite this. Karthus is starting red buff, okay. I just trolled. Uh, I accidentally pressed E instead of W. Normally you want to take W second and E third. It's not the worst, but you definitely lose out on some clear speed here, some damage. Which I can't really afford that much against the Karthus, losing out on some clear speed. That's definitely not ideal, but I mean, it is what it is, right? Try to keep your, like, passive stacked as much as possible. And try to kite the camps as much as possible to take the least amount of damage. Just walk back and forth, really. Do some auto attacks. I'll be fine. Normally I would have this cleared by now, but, you know. What can you do? Do that, move to the next camp. Okay, Botlane just died, unfortunately. Botlane, however, got the kill in return. As you can see, W does a lot more damage to your camp, so you can clear faster with it. And that's a TP back to top. Uh, Garen is now forced to back, so he's gonna have top lane priority. Arthur started bot side, so I think my best place is just finish my full clear and hope to go for bot scuttle if I can. Hello, I... Okay, well, not my first player today is not going great, I see. Miss leveling, miss hitting my spells, god damn it. I can catch him here. What? Oh, okay, I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ, we're kidding. She actually still had W after all of that. That's insane. My camp isn't even cleared here either. Wow, that sucks for me so much. I still hit four off that. That's decent, I guess. Oh, I cannot believe he didn't die off that. He still had his W after everything. That's very surprising to me. Very, very surprising to me. Holy shit. Okay, Karthus. Pike is gonna try to 1v1 him. Interesting. Solid. Just gotta wait out his passive. Yeah, don't hit me, thing. thank you. That's very well done by Pike there. Thank you. Yeah, let me just hit that so my passive extends. And then we can go for this play. Wait, I just got cancelled by that guy. That's quite insane actually. And a TP. That TP makes this a little bit awkward. Gonna clear that, at least. 
Damn. The Thresh thing cancelled me. Otherwise, my W would have done a significant amount of damage there. It was a very good Rise TP, so I couldn't commit. I would have done that. I would have gone more aggressive there if not for that teleport. Like, I would have tried to kite them out much better there and just do free damage. But that teleport was extremely good. So, yeah. Well done to Rise there for TPing. I'm doing okay now. Like... It's not that bad. My top, my my croc camp is a little messed up though, unfortunately, but that's not the worst. Got to make sure I keep my clear speed as high as possible. Okay, Botlane is not having a great time. Definitely not having a great time. Okay. Ouch. Ah, right. I'll throw a snowball into mid lane. Bowling ball. Right. My best play is to just base here in this situation. Take a base and just play for bot. I go to my blue again. I would figure that Karth is gonna be like top side. I wanna go like bot side and try to kill the Sivir because she's worth shutdown gold. And that would actually be quite valuable. Talon goes in for the kill. Face rush is kind of OP though. Uh, I pinged him earlier, but I guess he didn't see it or something. Maybe I should ping more often. I mean, this is like diamond four elo, so. I guess I should ping a little bit better because worse map awareness. Ooh, very spicy. He actually killed Fiora there. Maybe he had it in his plans all along. I can get this for six. The ward will hit me six. There we go. Honestly, Jin can have this if he wants it. Can we go mid here? I'm hitting this camp, so... Okay. Ah, I got Garen with it. I was like, why is he ulting there, but... This should be free. This should honestly be free. That's slightly awkward, but I'm gonna live. Hopefully my team cleans this. Right, at least I killed the Thresh, I guess. Dragon there would have been slightly risky. So that's why I didn't do it. But, yeah. Garthus has my entire top side here now, for sure. I need to be careful that I don't get killed by Gromp here. Make sure that I kite this out as much as possible. Okay. Can clear that. I'll get some healing off this. Okay, top lane. Just died in a 1v1, unfortunately. He could have my entire top side, but I'm still gonna run into this. It's down. Probably everything here is down, if I'm guessing. I just go top wave here for sure. Keep hitting. Make sure my passive is stacked. Yep, solid. I guess I help push here. Mm. Okay, not bad. That works. Talon roamed up pretty well. I gotta go. They might. He might. Karthus might be doing dragon for this. I have to kind of run there now. I could like throw a ball in here. Oh, that's actually. I might hit. 
Not sure. This might be decent. My ult's gonna be up in like two seconds, so if the ball does hit something, I could ult. I'm just gonna go run bolt here. Ideally, I'd like to stack my passive on the scuttle. Pretty sure I could just like stack passive on scuttle and then look for Drake, wait for my team. I think we actually Drake right now. If my uh, my pike reset, this should be a good time to dragon. Their bot lane just reset. Garthus is probably top side. Okay, we got this. Yeah, that was a pretty bad E. Just need to stun him. Oh, that was so incredibly close. If he got that stun off, that Rice would have died there. God damn. I think they might get him. I think I go mid here. I have nothing to do on top side here. Because he's already gonna die, yeah. Oh shit. I think Jin's dead here. Yeah, Garthus is also bot lane. Okay. Hello? I mean, it would be very nice. That's mine. Uh, it's a one for one trade, but my team like their enemy team should be massively out of position here for this talent to kind of clean up Like honestly, they shouldn't get away with this. I don't think Maybe they will I traded one for one with the Karthus there, which I guess isn't okay. Well Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I suppose not. I thought it was gonna go better for our team than it did But uh, yeah, Jin got caught Pai got caught if the Garen would have had like teleport this game, that would have been nice in that situation, but we don't have teleport, so it is no problem. I thought we win that fight a little bit harder, but I guess my bot lane is just kind of useless compared to theirs. Damn. I was trying to snipe the Karthus out with ult hit there, and it nearly worked, but I kind of took too much damage in the process. I do have my Leander's finish now, which is at least pretty decent. Yeah, let's clear this. I'm gonna have to just try to roam with my pike and just let Jin free farm. It's gonna be up in like 38. It's an interesting game. This could go either way still. They have a really good late game though with Rise, Karthus, and uh. Okay. Rise, Karthus, and Fiora have a really good late game. Don't have ult, please don't have ult, please don't have ult. I'm popping my potions. Okay, we're good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, he got him. Wow, okay. Uh, actually, I guess that works. Garen, that Garen got him. I thought I was gonna go really wrong there because I couldn't walk through turret with the amount of HP that I had in that situation. This is fine. I should be taking his Gromp here, I think. I have the time for it. Hit and move. Now we're solid. I don't know if we can do this Rift Herald, to be honest. Seems a little bit risky. 
but we'll see. Oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's gonna be a good ult. That's a very, very good Lily ult, but uh, yeah, no, Rift Arrow's not ours. Damn. I had an opportunity there to flash ult forward, which is good. Drag's gonna be up in 22 seconds. Definitely wanna be looking for that. I'm gonna do quickly do this camp. Just to sustain myself a tiny amount. I'm coming, I'm coming, don't worry. Kite this camp towards this side. Walk back for one more Q gonna die i'm back to full hp now that's why i did that camp in the process there i had a really good engage with my flash there you can flash q forward and just press ult run away very strong combo on lilia okay i missed it by like 20 hp on that smite oh he's running in the wrong direction there I think I'm gonna get that, yeah. Bowling ball for the win. You wanna, by the way, max Q second, then E, uh, Q first, then E second, and then W last. One point in W is more than enough to uh, be fine. Okay. I'm doing very good on CS here against this uh, Karthus. Not sure how I managed this, to be honest, because that guy should be ahead of me, but I'll take it. Guess I got a lot of lane farm, maybe. I'm also level 11, which is very, very solid. Damn, I was stacking on my passive to maybe run for that, but that was not gonna happen. I have to run mid here. Damn, that didn't hit. I was kind of hoping that the cone for my E would hit there. I have 2900 gold, I'm just gonna take it back here. Actually, I should, I should honestly not back yet. I need to have like one more camp before... Then I can buy my demonics instantly. Ooh, if she didn't block that, I would ult her because she can't block my ult with her spell shield. Okay, Talon has a very good solo kill there. Very, very nicely done. We're looking solid this game. Definitely. Hmm. God, I can get the Monix now, which is very solid. I was kind of just farming one more camp for it. I still had some time. There was no objective coming up at, the, at that point in time. Like, I didn't have to worry about a dragon or anything of the sort. Uh, so, I had some extra time there to just kind of stall it and wait. I can get blue and gromp here. Should be good. I'm level 12, which is very solid. 134 CS. I think he might die. Oh, hello? I missed that. I'm actually a big guy, I guess. I've got to move now. Yeah, that's awkward. Pike got caught out of position on that one, I think. Just gonna have to make sure that I keep clearing my camps as much as possible here, to be honest. Uh, I think Garen's gonna die here too. Actually, it is Garen, so maybe not. He did sidestep that, so you think he's gonna be okay. Barely, though. We just have to group, to be honest. That was not typed well, but that's what we ha definitely still what we have to do. You're kidding! Oh my god, please die. Thank you. All right, that was a good catch for me. Don't do this to me, Karthus. Yes, move speed, yes. 
You can like that's exactly how you want to play those engages with Lilia. By the way, you just look for these for the bowling ball hit. Can we just Baron? We could just Baron here, right? No. Maybe not. We have to play this slow. Alright, I hit him with Q, that's good. We're gonna win this now easily. That's Thresh Hook actually hit me? Are you joking? Wow. Insane how that Thresh Hook hit me there. We just have to kill this Fiora, boys. Just need to kill the Fiora here. I don't have any more passive stacks right now, so this is a bit awkward. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, she's, she went mid lane. Damn. They actually got out of that situation for that because of the Rise TP, which was quite insane. Oh god. If you're gonna ult me now, I'm dead. I have to go Wolves here. I have to hope. The wolf ceiling saved my life there. I had to flash for it. Ah, uh, Fiora's gonna clean that. That's very problematic, actually. The only thing I, the only chance I have is just to do this. No, oh, fuck, it reset. Can you just hook somebody, Mike? Ah, oh, no. Damn it. This Pike was playing that so defensive. I even proxed if her spell shield on that one. I was waiting for him to make any kind of uh, any kind of engage there. God damn. That sucks for me, man. That's really, really annoying. They actually got the dragon off that still. Like I couldn't do much because I was so low. I had to like use my flesh to get to my wolves to actually survive Garth's ultimate. Because of Ravenous Hunter healing, I was able to survive that barely. But then I would didn't have flash. If I had flash that like in that specific situation on the HP I would have had, I would have just destroyed them there. But yeah, it's also Sivir is the only AD carry that could have lived against me there as well because of the spell shield. If she didn't block my E there, my ult would have landed and she would have just instantly died. So that sucks for me. Damn, I don't know how we lost that fight that hard to be honest. That was quite insane. Like, the, the top lane fight here is the fight I mean, mostly. I hate Sivir. Like, right there, any other AD carry that's an engage, because I could just press ult and we just walk up and they die. Okay, Fiora goes here, I'm gonna run, run bolt here as well. Wait, she's not gonna die? I was about to say. Damn, we did lose a dragon off this though. All that plant. Rise is just gonna push. I'm gonna kill this Carthus. Carthus is dead. Wait, I think third aggro there. Why? How the hell am I alive? God damn, I did not expect me to take turret aggro there. That was close. Jesus Christ. I don't really have anything to buy here. I guess I could technically sell my Dark Seal, but it's getting kind of close to being able to like get a Magi's as well there. Really? Okay, that's pretty good. This is an intense game, man, I swear. Just 
wait for my team to regroup on the map and clear some camps in the meantime. We could look for a Baron. This is looking fine. They kill Karthus here, we insta Baron. Oh, without Pike dying, prefer. Oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 no. Let me see if I can hit something here. Let me hit this for more move speed. Okay, that's pretty good. We can Baron off this. I have Leandris and Demonic, so I should have a significant amount of Baron burn here. Okay, this is not bad. Uh, I hate that thing so much. Okay, that works. Hopefully Carthazil doesn't kill us here, that's good. She actually ran to bot lane, I was expecting if you to just run up to us there. Alright, this is not looking too bad. But as you can see in a way, uh, the way I'm playing these team fights is I'm just looking for one single ability to hit and then looking for an opening afterwards. Uh, you just want to press ult whenever you like hit a good, like good E onto the enemy team. And then that way you can get an engage on anyone that's kind of out of position. Any priority targets you can just ult like that, you just ult like that and you make an engage happen. If you have flash Q, then getting multiple ult, like multiple target ult is very, very solid as well. Okay, I have enough for that, so I'm gonna do this. I have enough for my uh, Magius and it's on 10 stack, so I definitely buy it here, because it gives me 10% extra move speed, which on Lilia is insane. And then I still have a Zonias for one fight with a stopwatch, so I can just get Zonias next item. And I, to finish like a build off like this, I just get like a Void Staff or something, because then my burn from Leandris and everything goes through. Their magic resist with Void Staff, and yeah. I'm gonna look for the dragon here. Yeah, that's fine. Just, I'm not, not gonna, I don't wanna play aggressive here. The Karthus was dead there, which was very solid. But I don't wanna play too aggressive there, because I definitely do wanna have a bike in a team fight. To be honest. Alright, that's my level 16 as well. That's a big spike. We definitely should group. 5v5, please. Oh. Solid. I can actually... I'm gonna throw that ball up there, because I think Rise might be chilling somewhere. I'm looking for my team to group here. They're, they're still backing. They're still playing it very slow whilst we have Baron. Which is not ideal for us. I definitely like him to play it a bit more aggressive. That would be nice. Okay, that works. We're going topside here because we see the Karthus and the Rise. Oh, can't walk that way because I will die. Okay, clear that. You just have to group. I guess he just one-shots it. Okay. Looking for any type of bowling ball here to hit. Oh no, okay, well, he's a goner. Okay, he lived. He's gonna get Karthus ult, though, if he's not careful. Oh god. Our bike got caught there. The Fiora did get caught in the process as well, which is pretty good. I need to stack up my uh, thingy here. You have to wait to regroup here. We did lose our Baron. I guess we did get quite a decent amount out of it, so that's not too bad. We can have it. I'll just back right now to get Zonias, and then... He doesn't have, he barely doesn't have enough gold for his Force of Nature now. We're playing this very, very stalled out here. I'm gonna go Void Staff next item, because that's just the item probably gonna need the most. They don't really have magic resist yet, but it's still a good buy regardless. And 
I think they'll get magic resist very soon here. If they don't, then I mean, I guess I could still swap the blasting one for something else, right? I could still go death gap instead. Anything of the sort. So it's not that worrying. Okay, good. Talon needs to be careful. We are not grouped together right now. Arthas is topside. I had the gold for the blasting one there, so either way, it's okay. Let's see good spell shield again. Don't split, but just just group. Don't go top lane. It's actually unnecessary. One auto. Just hit him. Kill him. This is perfect. Now just don't fight in the Karthus. Wait for the Karthus to be dead and then we can go in. Oh, Pike. Pike. Oh, God. We had such a good pick on Karthus and then he just suicides. We just had to wait for wave pressure there and that's all it is. It's actually hard to play this. I hate you, Sivir. You're so annoying. I don't ult for that one guy. Not worth. We just play for Drake now. We're playing this so slow, but like... We're getting a catch and then instantly losing someone in the process as well. So we can't even push. It's just extremely awkward. Dra Baron in 8 seconds. Garen is bot lane again, not grouping. If he is on, like, Baron right here, we could just do it, to be honest. The most annoying part here is just the fact that it's a Sivir that I'm facing. Like, she is blocking my abilities, so I can't actually ult to engage. They will Baron if you go for Dragon here. I think they'll 100% Baron. Let me just try to get some poke on this. If possible. Guess I clear Midwave here first. I'm not going to ult that, because I don't have backup for it. I might one-shot the Rise there. There's a high likelihood I would, but it's still very risky to ult that situation right there. If my team was a little closer, I'd 100% go for it. No, Pike, where the... Why is he there? What is that man doing? Why? Like, actually, why? At least Karthus ult is down, I guess, but I'm very surprised as to why he did that. We have to wait for Pike now. I don't know why he goes that aggressive. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, to be honest. The enemy team is smart, they just Baron here. It's a wasted ult on my end. I'm good. I made that pretty well. Like, that was a pretty nice amount of damage for me there. Let's just wait for Karthus here. Don't play too aggressive. No stupid things. I wasted my ultimate there in that fight. I shouldn't, like... I was deciding if I ult the Fiora there solo. Which I think might have been good if she didn't expect it. But I should definitely have waited. Uh, next fight, I 100% have to wait with that ultimate. I can't just throw it on her like that. Okay, I just need a little bit more gold here. Void Staff is 70 gold extra, so I definitely don't base without that. I have to get Void Staff here. There's no reason not to do it. Pretty solid. We got a mid out of that as well, and Rise dies. That's very good. Alright, perfect. Now I just take a base here, get my Void Staff, and then regroup with my team. Yeah, I'll just get Void Staff, it's fine. I'm kind of expecting more magic resist. If they don't buy it, then they don't buy it. I could have gone in that situation for the Morello as well, for additional Grievous Wounds. But they don't really have that much healing in their comp. They have Fiora, and that's about it. If this was like an AD carry that had more life, you'd like probably just buy that instead in this situation, but I'm good here. I'm uh, baroning up the wave to push in here as well. Which is pretty solid. Oh, Botlane's going interesting. They're playing aggressive with me just basing. I guess I just push mid here. 
I could look for like a, 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 a bowling ball this way. Well, I, if the minion didn't go there, I actually would have killed the Fiora with that bowling ball. One interesting game. Pretty solid. I, I know your your thing is annoying, my guy. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's just annoying. All right, that works. I got an ult on the rise. He just instant dies. You really, that's the way you want to play it with those, with your E and your ult and everything. Just keep throwing some E's out. Try to get some catches with it, and then you should be good. We should be able to end here, no problem. All right, solid, solid game. And there we go. All right, GGs. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. This does help me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.